Hello everybody, Jonathan Rayo here with Simplified Guitar, and in this lesson I want to go over the song As the Deer. As usual, I'm going to play through the song for you first, and then afterwards I'll break it down and explain it to you in more detail, so be sure to stick around for that. For now, let's go ahead and play through the song together. As the So my soul longeth after Thee. You alone are my heart's desire, and I long to worship You. You. So for this song, we're going to be using mainly five chords from the C chord family. We're going to have the C chord, A minor chord, the G chord, the F over C, and D minor. We're going to be using some slash chords as well, but uh, one of these five chords is going to be the root of those slash chords. So, so for instance, on the chorus, at the very beginning of the chorus, we have an A minor and then we have an A minor over G. And all we're going to do for that is we're going to play the A minor 7. And then for A minor over G, we're just going to take our third finger and we're going to place it on the third fret of the low E string. And that's going to create that G note on top of the A minor 7. So it's basically an A minor 7, we're just adding one extra note, which is that G note. A little bit further down, we have a walk with the D minor. So we're gonna, have, we're gonna start with the D minor chord. And it's important to remember that with the D minor chord, we need to start our strumming, or our picking in this case, on the D string. Okay, so we're not gonna play the E or A string. We're gonna start on the D string. So for this progression right here, we're gonna do a walk down from D to C to B. So we're walking down in pitch. So our root note is going to change from D to C to B. 
So we start on that root note of D, right there, okay? And then we need to walk down to C. So what we're gonna do is take our pinky and place it on the third fret of the A string, and that's gonna create our C note. And then for the B, we need to play right here. So what we're gonna do is pick up our second finger and place it there, and that's gonna create that B. And then from there, we're gonna go to an E chord, an E major. Okay, so those are the two main complicated parts of the song. Everything else is pretty simple in terms of chord progression. Now, in terms of the strum pattern, we're gonna be using a picking pattern, a four beat picking pattern. And basically what it's going to do is we're going to start with our thumb and any picking pattern, we should always start with the root note. So I'm just gonna play the C chord for an example. And so the first thing I need to do on beat one of every measure is play the root note. So in this case, I'm gonna play the C first. So I'm gonna use my thumb, and I'm gonna play two notes with my thumb. I'm gonna do one, two with my thumb, and then I'm gonna come back up with my index or, or my middle finger, and I'm gonna come back up the other direction. So I have one, two, three, four, okay? In this case, I'm using my middle and first finger. One, two, three, four. So I'm playing the A string, D string, B string, G string. One, two, three, four. Now if I wanted with my middle and first finger, instead of B, G, I can do E, B string if I want to. So that's really just a matter of personal preference, which one you prefer. But what's really important, again, is that you always start on the root note. So that's a case where our root note is going to be on the A string. But let's say I'm playing the G chord. My root note now switches to the E string. So I'm going to play my first two notes here. And if you notice, I'm skipping the A string. Okay? So I'm playing the E string and then the D string. Okay? And the reason I do that, especially with picking patterns, is because if I play the E, and the A string together, they kind of get muddy, they muddy each other up, so I like to make that root note very clear by playing it by itself, that really low pitch, and then switching to a, a more of a higher pitch so that, that E string doesn't get lost in the A string. And then again, uh, another time your root note is gonna change, strings, is on the D chord. So if I'm gonna play the D chord here, my root note is now going to be on that D string. So I'm gonna to have to play D, G string, and then E and B string, okay? One, two, three, four. All right, I hope this lesson was useful to you. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And I hope to see you in the next lesson. Take care.